firstly that title is a joke it's a commentary on the youtube videos we get where one week the game is dead it's the worst game it's an outrage and then it's the best game ever and then it's a disgrace and it's dead then it's back again and then it's sad and it's dead and it's, it's a it's like a corpse that's been shocked with defibrillators it's kind of it's it, anyway it's a commentary on that gran turismo 7 in my opinion has never been dead it's actually been the best racing game on console since it's come out the issue with gran turismo has been in my view that it hasn't reached its potential it's had a really good platform that hasn't quite brought it all together perhaps until now not until now like this is perfect but i do think this could actually be the best day to be on gran turismo the best week to be on gran turismo because we have arguably the best uh, daily race we've ever seen in gran turismo if you've got the stomach for a hour-long race it has everything it has dynamic weather it has the most difficult long track it has strategy it has the endurance aspect so you know it's like in some respects the best daily racey i think we've ever had you've also got your meme race if you like that in the samba bus and you've got a gt4 race in the middle having that's always going to be a fun race but it's not just that they've done a good job with that daily this week if you don't like the hour long race if you can't spend an hour plus qualifying i hear you i'm totally with you i'm not going to be doing this race a lot this week because i just don't have the time to be honest but i is there for the people that do and i i fully appreciate that if you look at the other stuff we've got we've got this mercedes amg thing mercedes are coming in hard for this i've seen a lot of people getting sponsored to do it which is great because it shows that mercedes really want this to succeed it's a championship they're doing not just on gt but i think it's also on acc and i racing i believe so they're just going across everything. It's going to be a very competitive leaderboard. It's going to be great to see. See Killian's already there in P2. There's also big credits and, you know, cool to see. This is exactly what we want. You know, we want a big time trial with a big manufacturer with a big prize. Absolutely great. And when I say prize, I mean prize for us. We can get 2 million if we get within that 3% and prize for the aliens as well. I think they'll probably get a drive of the car or something like that. We've got this Honda attack one as well which is absolutely great it's a honda on board we've got the challenge class we've got the uh, is that an under 17 if that's an under 17 that's great yeah so they've managed to do it for under 17s who normally can't do this kind of stuff because of data protection rules so that's great they've managed to do that i'm a big fan of that so we've got challenge under 17 spa at um a spa in the honda f1 car that i like driving i'm definitely going to do that we all well, i mean look how many time trials we have and the amount of money it's going to be great surely i'm not going to enter that one now but you can see here we've got the lap time challenge at the red bull ring and again two million credits if you get within that i'm going to do that as soon as i stop recording this video because i want to get my two million credits it's a relatively short track that's great that mirrors the one of the rounds we had in prague amazing we've got this one as well the high speed ring in the 917 living legend this is one of the hero cars when the game came out two years ago i remember doing a lot of content on this car so that's great that's a minute long time trial and we've got this one in the roadster shop so you've got something for all drivers and i'm definitely going to attack these two today and get my credits i remember when gran turismo 7 came out by the way it's another raw talk video unedited just me and you talking gran turismo unsponsored just telling you how it is i remember when the game came out there was a big controversy about credits being too hard to get and there were a lot of credit grinds available i was making videos on the credit grinds but i felt conflicted because i didn't think it was fun for people to to grind um because the credits were so hard to get they fix that now these are going to be fun time trials to do and rather than like glitching something around sardegna to try and maximize the amount of credits you make per three hours or whatever so look how many time trials we've got absolutely stacked that is more than fours do I'll have some news tomorrow about a Forza time trial for a video I'm doing there. But you can see, I think this is more than the sort of rivals ones you get in Forza. We've also got, finally, Nations Cup is back. So we have a weekend GT World Series, which is going to be great. It's going to be the setup where you have to qualify before your race. You can't grind the qualifying time. You're going to have your slots. You're going to be really, sort of hopefully, tightly split splits, if that's the right way to put it really competitive should be a lot of fun so gt world series is back we've also got this in the background now for a while this was the only thing really going on actually but now we have this in the background with toyota 
So if you look at the brands that are involved, you've got Mercedes, you've got Honda, and you've got Toyota as well. Great to see. And then we've got the Red Bull X29 here. And we're going to be driving the Honda again in this series. So if you, by the way, if you're good at driving the Honda F1 car, which is really good in VR, then you're going to be quids in. So that's what we've got going in sport mode. That's why I say this could be the best week in, you know, to be on Gran Turismo. But it's not just that. If you compare where we are now with a year ago, we also have, and I'm going to get onto a lot of stuff, and I'm going to get onto downsides as well, because I want to do mention the downsides. We've got here the weekly challenges. I don't often do these, but I love, 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 love that Gran Turismo have done this. I love this so much. I was screaming out for this when the game came out. There needed to be a little bit more purpose to doing the single player events once you've done the cafe. And this gives it, and you can see they add something to the special event, which is great. I think you normally get some more credits. And we've got these events. These are events that they've picked from existing events, but it gives us a reason to do them. You know, yes, it would be great to have some narrative or have some rivals, but the fact you can you, you have sort of a trellis here to create your own fun around these events is great. You can see that the um the rewards are pretty pants, to be honest. It's interesting how the rewards are now probably stacked in favor of online via the time trials because the completion credits here are not very good but yeah that's absolutely great so i love that the week challenges come out obviously forza do this as well with their uh world the open tour and the builders cup and everything but gran turismo do do it as well which is great so that's amazing and we also have these in-game things going on like the viewers campaigns where if you watch the streams you get a um you can uh, can get a car which is great and also you if you guess the people who are going to win so you can see here you don't even need to i believe do it at the time i was watching this on youtube so let's see if it's gonna give me that credit now if i go back just by doing that i'm back to what this is a little hack by the way let's see entry submitted so i didn't even have to watch it live so you don't have to worry about if you're somewhere around the world and you can't watch it live just do this and i've now got two vgt cars which is amazing because fingers crossed i can sell them because i don't like them you can see here we've got this stuff as well gran turismo is going around the world it's going to be in tokyo let me know in the comments if you're going to be in tokyo for that that's super cool and then it's adding everything else like we keep getting new cars let's see what's in the legend dealership at the moment i'm getting more credits now like, I want to buy the McLaren MP44. It's 12 million credits, but it's not within question that I can now buy that. And it seems to be, for the first time, an attainable goal. I made videos absolutely slating Gran Turismo for having 20 million credit cars and working out how much that would cost. It'd be like 200 pounds or dollars to buy it, and it would take so much grinding to do. But now with 2 million per time trial... And the fact there's so many available, I can aspire to have that car and it does mean something. So they have really rebalanced that. That's absolutely great. The issue, I did want to raise some issues. Still, PSVR 2, I've got a video coming on what they need to do with PSVR 2. I'm not pulling any punch on that because I care so much about it. I've always got my PSVR 2 here. I always want to be using it. But there's some big features they need. To, well, they're not even big features. They're tiny features need to add. So this is just raw talk and Gran Turismo. I read all of your comments in the last video. It was amazing to see what you felt about the, the Daily Race C and kind of the uh, the potential issues there. But I do think that this is probably the best time it's ever been to be on Gran Turismo 7 with a slight question mark about the physics that they probably need to tweak. But let me know what you think. Do you agree with me or am I talking nonsense? Let me know in the comments. And I'll see. Oh, please subscribe as well. You honestly, hundred thousand subscribers. We're so close. We're so close. More videos around here, and I'll see you next time.